Anyway, this was your um, piece of plastic that was actually uh, it's used to hold the door under here. Um, you have to put your, your screws in here. That's pretty much all you need. And that piece of plastic, just so you know, in case you guys can't find something, was actually taken straight from the bottom down here, which the manual doesn't tell you um, to cut out. But I realized afterwards that if you don't, um, you're going to have a problem fitting the electronics in, so it is a good idea to take it out. And it just came in handy that I was able to put it there. And again, I just glued it down with the super glue and then some of that uh, powder to bond it plastic to plastic. It'll never come out. So that's now your access panel, your new access panel. Um, as for the flip door, there's not much you have to do to it. Um, it just entails basically taking it apart. Um, like I said, once you remove, be careful with this though, if you are guys are going to attempt this. Um, they do say it's easy to pry up. It definitely is not. With the kind of glue that the Playmates used, it's very easy to snap this. Um, I wound up having to um, grab it little by little. And anything that was kind of scarred or messed up, I wound up filling in. Um, and it will look better once it's painted. So you won't see all the scars from trying to pry it. But there were a few times where it was pretty clear that this was probably going to snap. So... But the reason for having to take this out in the first place is to get access to these two hidden screws. And these two hidden screws are accessed once you remove these bottom decals here. So, um, basically, all you have to get, it's kind of a shame that you do have to go through that just to do one thing, which is you want to place your magnet. Okay? Um, which will activate the read switch um, that's later installed with the rest of the uh, electronics. So once you've done that, you can basically pop this thing back together. Um, I've chosen to leave this out for now because I am going to paint the whole uh, tricorder. Uh, the the, the uh, manual doesn't mention anything about painting, but they do tell you what kind of paint you can use uh, in terms of the color that pretty much matches uh, the best. Kind of give it more of a metallic finish. Um, I'll probably wind up having to mask this whole thing off um, the whole emer uh, uh, emerge button. Um, just mask off the whole button and then paint all this. Um, spray paint it. Or maybe take it to an automotive place and have them paint it. Uh, other than that, that's where I stand right now. The next process will be um, painting it. Um, and in the meantime, I can give you a little preview of what the, uh, the LEDs will be. I haven't decided if I'm going to use four um, AAA batteries to power this sucker or if I will re be using a um, rechargeable. Uh, at which point if I do, then I would probably remove one of these openings just to get some sort of a port back here. Uh, this way, when I want to recharge it, I don't have to even take this off. Um, but we'll see. Maybe the next one. Um, for now, everything's going pretty smoothly. Uh, to start off with, uh, you can see these are the lights. And that'll actually go... actually goes this way, I believe. That will actually go um, here. You'll have your red light and your, your green lights there. Um, give you an idea of what they look like. Um, and this was actually obtained by a buddy of mine in Canada. Um, so I'm just kind of testing to make sure everything works, so you can see. So those are, those are those lights, and then you get your your top scanner array of lights. Um, as you'll see, actually, it would go this way when you're kind of looking at it. Um, and that's how these will these will fit in there, and they should fit perfectly. Um, but these are what these look like.
kind of bright. It's a good thing, I guess. So that's those. And then you have your main uh, view screen electronics, which will actually go in the body as such. You know, once everything's all lined up, graphics are in. Um, what I do like about this tricorder is that it is a unique uh, graphic and a unique set of lights as well for the main screen here. Um, this will obviously be your power LED right here for that little hole right there. And uh, these are what these look like. That's your main screen. And then you have the authentic tricorder sound, including the opening ratchet. Okay. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this speaker because it is rather small and uh, uh, not very loud. I may be actually changing it to this speaker, which is much bigger and much louder. Um, I just gotta wait and see how much room I'll have, but, uh, this is actually from another, um, Star Trek toy, but it happens, I think, to be almost the same speaker that is originally, uh, installed into the Playmates tricorder, um, which was much more powerful and, um, and louder, so, that's where we stand now, um, the next step will be the painting process, after that's done, I'll, I'll post another video of what it looks like once it's painted, and then after that it'll just be installing the uh, decals and, and all the electronics, and that'll be pretty much it, so I will probably run through another two or three videos before it's completely done, okay? Thanks guys.